Welcome to another Bleistift video and today I want to look at the new upcycled wood Northies. Now they look very similar to uh, normal Northies. Just a bit of uh, uh, background information. So here in the UK um, basically all the school kids are using the Northies to learn writing. They have to learn writing with a pencil. The pencil is normally provided by the school and uh, more or less all of them are using the Nordis. Some are using the state letter edition. There might be some schools that use different pencils, but yeah, most of them use the Nordis. And uh, th th this is a normal Nordis, but the school version often says Nordis school pencil. You you buy them, you buy a gross of them, you know, a gross is 12 dozen, a dozen dozen, 144 of them. And I think the schools get them for a good price. So this is the traditional Nordis. This is the pencil that used to be called Vopex. The pencil formerly uh, known as Vopex. And um, first the pencil was called Vopex, then the material was called Vopex. And now they changed it to upcycled wood. Gunther from Lexicali Curb Block told me that in January this year they started only producing the Nordis from upcycled wood. Um, and today I saw them for the first time in the UK. Uh, the funny thing was that um, the supermarket where I saw them they had some old stock, some new stock. The old stock was even with cedar wood. And they also had upcycled pencils in the upcycled wood packaging, but they also had some in the normal packaging that doesn't mention upcycled wood. But also the normal packaging one basically said wood content um, from PEFC Sustainable Managed uh, Woods. I think, um, yeah, I th I th there were different packs. I think some of them also mentioned that the wood content is from from uh, German piece, I think. <clears throat> yeah. So let, let's have a look at this pen. Uh, they certainly managed to make it look quite similar to the uh, traditional Nordis. But yeah, the, this material is extruded and it's a mix of basically wood probably in the form of um, wood that can't be used for other purposes because it's it's little bits of, of wood dust that are left or I, I, I don't know or, or yeah I don't I don't know exactly what kind of wood is being used but I think Stadler's selling point was always that they can use up all bits of wood that would otherwise go to waste. <clears throat> the unusual thing is it's being mixed with plastic. Uh, when I asked them in the past, they said the plastic is is new plastic, it's not recycled plastic. So ecologically, on the positive side, you, know, you are able to use up the wood that otherwise you might not be able to use. So you're making use of everything. On the negative side, I think, you know, those pencil shavings, um, yeah, they, if they end up in a landfill, they probably... Um, they're probably compostable, it's just wood. Uh, maybe the worst thing is, is maybe the glue, maybe the paint, I've got no idea. <clears throat> now there is obviously plastic that can be composted, but I don't know whether, whether the plastic that is being used in this process is that kind of plastic. So I'm not sure what's going to happen when those pencil shavings from sharpening end up somewhere. I don't know how long they will need to to basically uh, disappear into into nature. Okay, let's open this box now. Uh, so this one was uh, two pounds in a supermarket near me. Um, The first thing I would say here is um, this material looks a bit darker 
than the Vopex material. We'll see how it looks after we sharpened it. But because you know the, the color is a bit darker, it looks more similar to traditional wood. Whereas you know the, the Vopex pencils always looked quite pale. I've got the official um, Stadler sharpener for Vopex type pens here. Yeah, also nice here, the different hardness grades are available on this pencil. Okay, let's sharpen one. Sorry. So let's see if the color changes. It feels more like it, it, it looks and feels more like a traditional pencil and less like a Vopex. So let's find out. And then there's one thing I want to test uh, first thing. So I've got it on the pointy setting. And there's a reason for that. Okay. Because what I want to find out is how easy does the point break. I'm saying that because you know if, if you sharpen a, a normal pencil to a very fine point, the point doesn't really break that easily. But if you uh, sharpen the Vopex pencils from the past to a very fine point, uh, the, the tip is breaking easily. Okay. Uh, for, for your information, the paper is uh, Leuchtturm paper. Uh, this is the uh, Monocle Leuchtturm diary. Okay, let's call it old. Opex. It's a nice paper. It feels smooth, but um, it's a bit rough at the same time. In a sense that uh, pencils look really, pencil writing looks really dark. Uh, okay, let's start with with uh, old Norris. Okay, it certainly feels more smooth. Let's try the. Upcycled wood, not this, which is probably the Vopex material, or if not, then basically the Vopex material 2.0. Ah, sorry, this is not, this is the upcycled, not this. Okay, it feels, I think it feels a bit smoother than, than the Vopex. The line feels a bit less, hmm? feels a bit finer. I'm pressing harder now. Yeah, okay. I pressed harder and uh, the tip broke off. Now I try to press with the same force with the old Norris and the tip doesn't break. So, yeah, there, there might be a small improvement yeah okay there's definitely okay you can how should i phrase it so the old wopex if the tip is too fine it breaks quite easily so that that problem seems to have improved with the upcycled Norris. so i had to use uh, more force to break the tip than with the old wopex um but i still managed to break the tip whereas with a traditional novice I didn't manage to break the tip at all okay the next interesting point is will the hard and the soft grades write different so let's I want to keep it short you know I uh, think uh, you know, there'll be a very limited or limited audience for a 10 minute video about a pencil so I'm, I'm just gonna sharpen them I mean this is how they came from the supermarket and I'm just gonna sharpen them to the same point. Both of them. So this is the 2H version. Yeah, 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 that didn't end well. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'll have to cut that out, I guess. Let's do it this way. H and now let's do two B. Okay. 
not much uh, space on my desk here, unfortunately. Okay. Okay, so. So this is the 2B version. It feels soft, but you know it's 2B. It should be quite dark. Even though it feels very soft, it doesn't seem very dark. Let's try the 2H version in comparison. Okay, feels harder. Okay, I would think... I would think... Um, yeah, I would think the the, the 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 traditional pencils when they're softer they're much darker. I would think the darkness seems not that different between the two B and the two H, but it feels as if and this is just some initial testing here. It feels as if the two H keeps the point better. Yeah, you know the point doesn't use up that easily. The line produced is still fairly thin. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to bore you now with more details like comparing it to the old 2B or the old 2H. I think yeah, we, we are over the 10 minute mark now, so that's probably more pencil geekiness than most can handle. But I thought I'd share this find with you yeah, because I I saw them for the first time today in a UK supermarket. Okay, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye.